Pull that boot. Cable through there. The boot back over it. Now for an unboxing. Odie Rogue Motocross Locked On Grips. I don't know what the difference is between a two stroke and a four stroke. Grip, that is. But I don't think. Seems like the throttle grip is pre-installed because there's no clamp on it. There's only a clamp on the clutch side. Use an Allen screw to clamp it down. They're nice and soft, pretty sticky, and they're a little flexible. Difference in the collars. Isn't that much. And these are cheap. It's like $13. In the instructions is a chart. You find your ride. And for the YZ125, I already forgot. It's C. Not the easiest thing to see, but Right there, it's like laser etched. So the next step is to take the throttle tube off. It's on the bike right now. There goes the tube. plate goes on with the webbing for the outside of the bike. Cable end does not want to go in. I would say that operates freely. I'd say the biggest reason for the manual saying have a, only a qualified technician install your throttle controls is because there's no emergency cutoff system like there is on pretty much every four wheel you get from a dealer. Including the one that came on the Yamaha Blaster that completely failed on me. After I came to a complete stop with the four wheeler in neutral, I was off it for like five seconds and the engine just shot up full RPM. The key switch wouldn't shut it off and the um, even holding a screwdriver that I had in my Sportsman against the spark plug after pulling the spark plug wire off the spark plug the engine still wouldn't shut off the only way I was able to get the engine to shut off was to shut the gas off let it run out of gas you want to get your screw positioned where you want it, which I'm going to put mine straight back, and then slide it on. Directions say it should go on easy until the last inch or so. I mean, already that's tighter than 
most grips I've put on the, after I super glue them. Now with a three millimeter Allen wrench, we are going to tighten this down to 15 inch pounds. How do you put a torque wrench on an Allen wrench? I don't know. That's a pretty snug. I'm gonna guess right about there is where I want that. 